Welcome to the Fun Factory everybody. Here we are again. My name is Alison, some of you know that, and I am the official funologist here. And funologist means that I know all that is about having fun. But before we get started, we need to find out who's listening here today. So after three, I want you to shout out your name at home. Okay, it's great that you can be with us today. Okay, after three, one, two, three. Yay! Great, brilliant, and Jerry's here too, that's super. Okay, and we're gonna just say hi to people who are here as well. Good that you're watching, like I say, and here we have Jerry with us hi. today. Hi, Jerry, we have Isak behind the camera. Hi, Isak, and we have Stephanie helping with the hi. iPad. Thank you, okay, so I think we're ready. Okay, I was just saying, here we are at the Fun Factory. Because I am the official funologist here today, I tell you, we have lots of fun things planned for you. Are you ready? Okay, let's think. Hmm. First of all, we have to start. Let's remember our two rules so that we can have the most fun. Okay, rule number one. Yep, you got to be kind. Okay, we can be kind by sitting down and kind of um, making sure people can see. Okay, and then we need to remember to be a bit quiet so everyone can hear. Okay, right. Rule number two. Yep, you've got it there. Be safe, okay? And you can be safe by kind of keeping your hands to yourself and not fiddling with other people's things. Good job, okay? So this week, like last week, I have two special friends with me here today, okay? We have Casey Computer. Hi, Casey. She's great. She helps us figure out all kinds of important things. And then let's not forget our other friend here today, Macy the Mixer. Oh, fantastic! Who she takes all kinds of things and mixes them together to make something brand new. Okay, so and of course, KC and Macy help the fun factory be well fun and we have so many fun things for you today we have we're going to sing some songs and hmm, there's a thing if you like singing songs i want you to meow like a cat okay are we ready yeah. oh i'm thinking you're liking songs here's the next one if you like to play games i want you to raise your hands in the air and wiggle your fingers Anybody like to play games? Oh, yeah, I think there's a few of you there. Cool, okay. Now, if you like hearing great stories from the Bible, I want you to say, hooray! Okay, let's go. Hooray! Yay, fantastic. Okay, it sounds like you guys like to have fun. And that's just what we're gonna do here today at the Fun Factory. You know, we have been having a lot of fun last week uh, learning about how we can have the courage to obey God. Hmm, Macy, you know what? I think we need to get our bodies ready for the Bible story. Last week we had a song about this and I think we're going to have that one again today. Okay, so you guys get ready to stand up and sing. Give yourself a little bit of space and we're going to do the Let's Go song. A bit like this and we're hearing the Bible story and we have to put on our special eyes and our special ears and our thinking cap. Okay, and like I say, we're going to get ready to go. Excellent. Okay, super. <laughs> Come on. 
Yep. Today we get to hear another great story from the Bible. Now today's story is about a man called Daniel. Hmm, let's see if Macy might have something for us perhaps. Let's see. She's mixing. Okay, here's the Bible. That's a good start, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, the story's going to be about Daniel. Let's see. Mm. Here we go. All right. Here. Uh, oh, maybe there's something else. So here's Daniel. We're going to use him. Let's go. And there's... Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, and the story is about a king as well. So I'll put this on when I'm trying to be the king, okay? Right, the other thing is I need you guys all to help me. Hold on a second. So you get to be in the Bible story today a little bit as well. Okay, when you hear me say the words lion's den, I want you guys to roar like a lion, okay? And then when I go like this, you need to stop, okay? So let's practice that. So uh, when I say lion's den, you're gonna roar, and when I go like this, we stop. Okay, let's practice. Lion's den. <laughs> that was a good roar, fantastic. Good job, excellent. Okay, so let's click on our listening ears just like we had in the song, okay? Click, 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 and the other one. And then the eyes, shk, shk. great job. Okay, well, let's see, where is that crown? Okay, the Bible tells us one night, King Darius, that was his name, was sleeping. The Bible tells us he had a dream. It was a strange dream and he wondered what it meant. Daniel told the king what the dream meant and King Darius was so happy that he made Daniel second in command in the whole kingdom. He even thought about putting Daniel number one in charge of the entire kingdom. Well, that was really good news for Daniel but you know what? It was kind of bad news for some of the other people who worked for the king. They didn't want Daniel to be in charge of the entire kingdom, so they made a plan. They found out that Daniel prayed and talked to God. So they told the king not to, tell, to, not to let anyone pray or talk to God. They said that if someone prayed or talk to God, they should be thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> oh, that was great. Good job, everybody. Okay, so after the men told the king their idea, the king said, oh, here we go. That sounds like a good idea. I shall make it a law. And he got some pen and paper and he scribbled it down. There, 
no one will be able to pray or talk to God for any reason. It is the law. Wow, that's what the king said. Let's see what Daniel did. So Daniel, hmm, you know, I like to talk and pray to God every day. The king wants me to stop. If I don't, he's going to throw me into the lion's den. God doesn't want me to stop praying. God wants me still to keep talking to him. But the king wants me to stop. Hmm. No, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to have courage to obey. So Daniel went home, the Bible tells us, and he went home and he prayed. men followed Daniel home and they saw him praying. They told the king. Daniel disobeyed my law? That means we have to throw him into the lion's den. <coughs> I don't know what to do. I love Daniel. I don't want to throw him in with the lions. Oh, I wish I'd never made that law, but there's nothing I can do. Daniel has to be punished. I just hope the God he prays to every day can save him. And the Bible tells us the man took Daniel away and threw him into the big hole of the Lion's Den. Whoa! Okay, well, here we go. Okay. Daniel was scared. He prayed and he talked to God. And the Bible tells us he asked God to help him. It was scary being with all those lions in the Lion's Den. Whoa! But you know what? This is a fantastic story. God saved him. God sent an angel to close the mouth of the lion. The next morning, King Darius went to find Daniel. Daniel? Daniel? Did God save you? And the Bible tells us that God did indeed save Daniel. The king was so happy. He took Daniel out. And look. There was not even a scratch on Daniel, the Bible tells us. And the soldiers put the... And, and the, what the king did was he put the soldiers into the lion's den. Ah! dead. Daniel was in charge of Darius's king, king Darius's kingdom for the rest of his life. He never stopped praying and he never stopped talking to God. He prayed every day. He was brave and God gave him courage. And that's what we're trying to remember today, boys and girls. We're trying to remember that God wants us to have courage to obey. Can you say that with me? Maybe let's try this. God wants us to have courage to obey. Okay, let's try and do it in our big voices. I know you have big voices. Okay, God wants us to have courage to obey. Fantastic job, everyone. Okay, God can give us courage 
to obey. And you know what? I think we're going to sing our I Can Obey song. We did this one last week as well. There's a bit of I can obey every day doing what's right. I can obey. Okay, I think we're ready for that. Okay, thanks, Jerry. me to obey. God wants me to obey. God wants me, God wants me to obey, to obey. Doing what's right, doing what's right every day, every day. God wants me, God wants me to obey. To obey, God wants me to obey. God wants me to obey. I can obey. I can obey. Doing what's right every day. I can obey. I can obey. I can obey. Doing what's right every day. To obey. God wants me. Oops. To obey. God wants me. God wants me to obey. To obey. Doing what's right. Doing what's right. Every day. Every day. God wants me. God wants me to obey. To obey. God wants me to obey. God wants me to obey. I can obey. I can obey. Doing what's right every day. I can obey. I can obey. I can obey. Doing what's right every day. I can obey. Okay, take a seat. Woof. Oh, I'm a little bit exhausted. Right now, I wonder possibly if KC might have some sort of game or activity for us today. Hmm, let's see. Let's see if she can come up with anything. Hmm. She's thinking. game for us today. All I need to do is just press this button. Wow, fantastic. Okay, uh, ooh, here they are. She's given us some questions here. Wow, okay. We are going to, this is the game. We are going to just see how much you know about having courage and obeying God, okay? So we're gonna have some questions for you guys at home. All right, you can think about them, let me know, and we're gonna see how many points that you can get, okay? All right, one point for each question, okay. So, and if you get all three, then we maybe will be doing a victory dance at the end. Here's the first question, okay? Okay, number one, you are sitting in church and your Sunday school teacher is trying to say something. Everyone is talking and no one's paying attention. Hmm. Your Sunday school teacher asks you to sit quietly and pay attention. Everyone keeps talking. How can you obey? Hmm. Listen, stop. Oh, sit. okay. Oh, I'm hearing some great answers there. Okay, you could maybe stop talking and listening. Fantastic, that's a great job. I think you get a point for that, everyone. Good job. Okay, question, whoops, number two. Okay, ah, okay, you're waiting to buy some ice cream. Guess what? Lots of other kids are starting to come up as well. The ice cream man says for everyone to make a line and wait patiently. 
but no one listens and everyone's cutting in in front of each other. How could you obey? Hmm. Hmm. Listen. Wait. Wait your turn. Oh, that's those are good answers I'm hearing there. Exactly. Um, you could exactly you could listen to the man and try and put get yourself in that line and just wait patiently. Good answers. Okay, I think that's another point to you guys. Good job. You have two points now. Okay, we're trying to get three. Okay, right. Um, let's see. Third question number three. You're sitting with all your friends coloring pictures. Your mum tells everyone to share the crayons, but no one is sharing. Everyone's fighting because they all want the gold color. Okay, how can you obey? Hmm. Share. Oh, that's a good idea. We could share the crayons, right? Excellent. Okay, I'm thinking you got maybe three out of three there. Okay, so I'm thinking it's time we do a little victory dance. Three out of three, that was good work. Okay, everyone stand up, are we ready? <laughs> That was three points you guys got well done okay right so we have been learning that God wants us to obey even when it's hard and other people may not be listening so I think we can try and remember to say our special words again just now God wants us to have courage to obey good job it is hard to do but you can have courage and obey. Okay, I think we're gonna stand up now and sing another song, okay? It's quite a simple song, but it's a lovely song, and it tells us that God is good. Just like God was good to Daniel and saved him, we can say and sing together that God is good. So it goes a bit like this, God is good, God is good. And then sometimes in the verses we have, God loves me, God is good good God loves me God is good it's quite fast okay and then there's another bit God hears me God is good God hears me God is good and then I think the last verse little verse is that God helps me God is good okay I think you'll pick it up as you go along there's some verses and there's a chorus bit as well okay everyone stand up give yourselves a bit of space and I think we're nearly ready God loves me God is good God loves me God is good God loves me God is good, God is good. God hears me, God is good, God hears me, God is good, God hears me, God is good.
throw the dice and there's kind of if we throw a one then we're going to go to the question that has number one on it okay so we're going to get started and see how we go and these are all questions about thinking how we can obey okay let's see question let's see which one are we going to go for it's oh it's a one okay question number one here we go your teacher tells you it's time to clean up the toys at church oh but none of your friends are picking up the toys. They're all playing tag. Hmm. What should you do? Obey. Hmm. Clean up. Yeah, right. We can obey. We can listen to the teacher and start cleaning up the toys. That would be a great thing to do. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to throw the dice again. Let's see which number we're going to get here. Whoa. Number two. Okay. Let's see. Ah, right. Okay, here's the question. You're blowing bubbles with your friend Steve, okay? He would like to use the special bubble wand, you know the one I mean? And you tell Steve that, yeah, he can have it when you're done. Steve gets a bit mad and he hits you, which wasn't nice, and oh. you're so mad that you would like mm. to hit him back, but your mum says you shouldn't. What should you do? Because you're really quite cross. Courage. Don't hit Steve. All right. Yeah. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Exactly. Have courage. Don't hit Steve and obey. Good answers there. Okay. Let's see. We'll throw the dice again. Oi. Oh, we've had one. I think it was nearly going to be a four. So we'll mm -hmm. take four. Okay. Let's see. Question four. Okay. All right. Your friends are over at your house having food, and you're watching uh, a film as well. And while you're watching your film, your mum comes and tells you all to come and sit down and have your dinner. Ooh, but your friends kind of keep watching the film, even though your mum said it was time for dinner. What should you do? Hmm. Listen to your mum. Go to dinner. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Even if no one else is, it's a good answer. Listen to your mum and have courage to obey. Great. Okay, I think we still maybe have some more here. Let's see. Oh, we've had two as well, but it was nearly three. So we're going to go with question three. Okay, let's see. You love to sing and dance with your two best friends. Okay, your friends, though, kind of get a bit excited. They start dancing and then they start screaming to the song. And your teacher has told you not to be so loud and not to scream to the music. But your friends are doing it anyway. What should you do? Have courage, do not scream, obey. That's, those are good answers, that's right. Try and think about what your teacher said and remember and have courage to obey. Okay, let's see what we can throw here. Ooh, I think we've had four already. Let's see if we can get another one. We've had three already. Well, I would, look, I'm going for five. All right, <laughs> there we go, okay. All right, so here's the fifth question, number five. Let's see, okay. Jimmy um, is playing with a lot of boys at church. Uh, and he um, he's playing with trains when another boy comes along and tags him on the arm and says you're it ah uh, Jimmy knows that he the boy wants to play tag with him he gets that but he knows also that his teacher has said you're not to run in church Ooh, okay what would you do there boys and girls what could we do yep I'm hearing there I think yeah have courage to obey and not to run right mm -hmm. yep we know that okay let's see if we can get the last number here let's have a look have a look have a look whoa perfect number six there we go okay question number six what in the world here we are okay you are sitting in church with your group everyone's talking and no one's paying attention and your teacher's asking you to listen and think about those two rules but everyone keeps talking Oh, what should you do? Have the 
courage to listen. Raise your hand when you want to talk. Yeah, those are great answers. That's right. Uh, we need to listen and remember to obey as well. Exactly. And if you want to say something, it's good to put your hand up. Okay, good job, everyone. You did a great job with the dice game. Okay, so let's try and remember one more time what we've been learning today. God wants us to have courage to obey. obey great job okay well i'm just going to finish us yeah. in prayer that yeah. here jerry if that's okay it's great mm -hmm. that you could join us here today everyone really good to see you all again mm -hmm. okay let's go i think you remember this we go open, open them close them, them open them close them, them give a little, little clap. clap open them close them open them close them fold them in your lap let's pray mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you for today's Bible lesson about Daniel. Thank you that you gave him the courage to obey. Please help us to have the courage mm. to obey as well. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Fantastic. Thank you, okay, Alison. Good. All thank right, you, well, Isaac. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, and we'll hopefully see you next time. Thank you, boys and Bye. girls. Bye. Bye. See you